very important concept in algebra is adding like terms. So let's have a look at that. First of all, if we had this, <clears throat> 3 times 10 plus 2 times 10, that's 3 tens and 2 tens. It's 30 and 20, definitely 50, right? Now 50 is the same as 5 times 10. So 3 tens and 2 tens is 5 tens, right? How about this? 2 times 7 plus 3 times 7. Okay, that's definitely uh, 14 plus 21, which is 35, and 35 is 5 times 7, 5 sevens. Okay, so 2 times a number plus 3 times a number is 5 times that number. 2 times a number plus 3 times a number is 5 times a number. So 2 times a number, x, x represents a number, plus 3 times a number x is 5 times x, whatever that number is, right? So what do you think, um, another way to think about it is, well, 2 apples plus 3 apples, what's that equal to? 2 apples plus 3 apples is definitely 5 apples. What we do when we add like terms is, first of all, we decide whether we have like terms or not. We do, apples. Then we add the coefficients. The coefficient here is 2, and this coefficient here is 3. 2 and 3 makes 5, okay? It's as simple as that. So, if you add 3 bananas plus 7 bananas, that would be, add the coefficients, 3 and 7 makes 10. So, 10 bananas, right? How about this? 4 bananas plus $10 minus 3 bananas minus $2. Now what would you do? Um, if somebody asks you what do you have on the table, you wouldn't say I've got uh, 4 bananas uh, minus 3 bananas plus $10 minus $2. You would simplify that a little bit. You'd say I've got 4 bananas minus 3 bananas. Well, that's one banana and then 10 minus 2 put those together and that makes 8. I've got a, a banana and 8 dollars. B plus 8. Can we add a banana and 8 dollars together to get anything? No, we're done. In fact, what what is this? What is this? Write down the answer. A plus B equals. Apple plus banana equals what? An apple added to a banana. Is it equal to apple banana or banana apple? Or is it two apples or is it two bananas? What is an apple plus a banana? Is it just an apple plus a banana? Is that as simple as we can get it? Well, yes, it is. You can't make it any simpler. That's it. So there's no simplification to be done. However, if you had this, negative two apples plus three bananas minus an apple minus a banana plus a pear, that's different. Here we can add like terms because we have like terms in this expression. If you look at the apples first, you've got negative two apples, take away an apple. If you're in debt by two and you take away one, you're in debt by three. That's negative three apples. Even better, let's put in the coefficient of negative a. Coefficient of negative a is negative one. So we've got negative two a minus one a, which is negative three a. And they are taken care of. Now let's have a look at the b's, the bananas. We've got three b minus b. That's minus one b. 3b minus 1b makes plus 2b, right? Now we've got one more term to deal with, plus p. Let's call that a pair. Well, that just goes there, plus p. Can we simplify negative 3a plus 2b plus p? Is there any simplification to be done? Can you combine apples, bananas, and pears? No, you're done, right? There you go. So what if you had something like this? Um, 
2 marbles minus 3 cherries plus 2 marbles minus 3 cherries again. Can you combine like terms and write down the answer? Let's put the marbles together. 2 marbles and 2 marbles. Does that make 4 marbles? Right? Now I've got negative 3 cherries minus 3 cherries. Negative 3 cherries minus 3 cherries is negative 6 cherries. Right? And that's the answer. 4 marbles minus 6 cherries. Of course, what we could do is, in place of subtraction, put plus negative here and here. So it says 2 marbles plus negative 3 cherries plus 2 marbles plus negative 3 cherries. Now the negative 3 cherries and the negative 3 cherries make plus negative 6 cherries. But uh, in the end, you've got to simplify plus negative to be subtraction. So this has to end up being 4m minus 6c in the end anyway. Okay, let's have a look at this then if we had again two marbles minus three cherries minus two marbles plus three cherries what would that be and if you like you can change these subtractions to plus negative plus negative now put the like terms together we've got marbles and cherries m's and c's 2m plus negative 2m is 0m, isn't it? So I've got 0m plus, and then we've got negative 3c plus positive 3c. That makes 0c, doesn't it? What's 0 marbles equal to anyway? 0 marbles, is that just 0? How about 0 cherries? That's 0, isn't it? So the whole thing simplifies to be 0, right? The answer is 0. How about this? One half of an apple plus one quarter of a pear plus one half of an apple plus one half of a pear. What would that be? And again, we've got to add like terms. We can add fractions if we like. Half an apple plus half an apple. Let's have a look at that. Half A plus half A. Does that make 1a, right? How about the quarter and a half? A quarter of a pair plus half a pair. Don't tell me you forgot how to add fractions already. Well, you've got to make the denominator. We've got to add the coefficients. The coefficient of this p is a quarter. The coefficient of this p is a half. Let's make the denominators the same. Multiply this by 2. Multiply the top by 2. So this becomes 2 over 4p. So 1 quarter p plus 2 quarter p is 3 quarter p, right? How about this one? How about negative a half of a banana plus half of an apple minus 1 quarter of a banana minus 1 quarter of an apple? Let's calculate that. First step is to put the like terms together. Can we combine apples and bananas? Or can we only combine apples with apples and bananas with bananas, right? So let's look at the bananas first. We've got negative a half banana minus a quarter banana. Or negative a half banana plus negative a quarter banana. How do we combine fractions? Well, we've got to make the denominators the same. So multiply this by 2 over 2, and that becomes negative 2 over 4b, right? Um, so negative 2 over 4b plus negative 1 over 4b makes negative 3 quarters b, right? Now let's combine the apples. Half an apple minus a quarter of an apple. Well, change the half to quarters, times it by 2 over 2. Now we've got 2 quarters of an apple. 2 quarters of an apple minus 1 quarter is 
one quarter a, right? Let's have a look now at if decimals. 1.3a minus 0.2a. What would that be? Again, we have like terms, a's. Uh, just combine the coefficients. What's one third? Or sorry, 1.3 minus 0.2. What's that equal to? Well, it's 1.1, isn't it? So this whole thing becomes 1.1a. So just for a brain teaser, have it as 0.01x plus 0.50x. What would that be? So 0.01 times x plus 0.50 times x. Well, 0.01 plus 0.50 is 0.51, isn't it? So this whole thing just becomes 0.51x, right? Also got to note that x squared and y squared are variables, just like everything we've been using, a, b, c, x, y, z. So we could have negative 4x squared plus 10x squared minus 3x squared minus 12x squared. And what would that be? First of all, we've got to determine whether we have like terms or not. Well, we've got x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared everywhere, right? So all we have to do now is combine the coefficients. Negative 4, 10, negative 3, and negative 12. Okay? So negative 4 and 10 makes positive 6. Negative 3 and negative 12 makes a negative 15. And positive 6, negative 15 would be uh, negative 9, wouldn't it? Let's double check. This is negative 15, and 10 makes negative 5, and negative 4, negative, okay. So that's negative 9 x squared. How about this? A bag that contains 3 apples minus $5. Put a 2 here, that's two of these bags. Okay? Now add to that three of these bags, and in each of these bags there's an apple minus one dollar. So if we were to simplify that expression, what would we get? Well, we've got to apply the distributive property with this first. 2 times 3a, 6a. 2 times negative 5, minus. 10. Now at this, 3 times a plus 3a. 3 times negative 1 minus 3. Okay? So we've applied the distributive property to get rid of parentheses, to remove the parentheses. Now let's add like terms. 6a plus 3a. Does that make 9 apples? How about negative 10 and negative 3? Remember, subtraction is the same as plus negative. So we can change these to plus negative if it looks easier. So it's a negative 10 plus a negative 3, which makes that plus a negative 13, right? But we've got to remember again that plus negative can be just written subtract. So we can write the answer 9a minus 13, and that's it. How about this then? 2 times 3x minus 5 minus 3 times x minus 1. So we've got to apply the distributive property to remove parentheses. 2 times 3x, 6x. 2 times negative 5, negative 10, right? Now we've got to multiply this in. The question is, do we multiply by positive 3 or do we multiply by negative 3? And the answer is, we multiply by negative 3. 
I mean, if they wanted us to multiply by positive, they would have put a plus sign here. Neg and the other thing I remember is this subtraction can be changed to plus negative. So it's all of this plus a negative 3 times everything. Okay? So multiply everything by negative 3. Negative 3 times x makes negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 1. Okay, how about 5 times y plus 1 minus 2 times y minus 3. So five of these bags, you've got a yo-yo on one dollar in this bag. That makes five yo-yos plus five dollars. Subtract two of these bags, we've got a yo-yo and a debt of three dollars in this bag. So multiply negative two in here and here. Negative two times y is minus two y. Negative two times negative three plus six. So must multiply by a negative here. Now add like terms. 5y minus 2y, 3y. Positive 5 plus 6 plus 11, right? So go ahead and do this one then. 3 times b plus c minus 3 times b minus c. Again, the first step is to apply the distribu distributive property to remove parentheses. So multiply by 3 here and here. Uh, in this bag we have a banana and a cherry, so 3 of these bags makes 3 bananas plus 3 cherries. In this bag we have a banana minus a cherry. So negative 3 times that is going to change the signs, right? It'll be negative 3 times b minus 3b, negative 3 times negative c plus 3c. Now combine like terms. Three bananas minus three bananas makes zero, doesn't it? Three cherries plus three cherries, six cherries. Six C.